Uh, in this tutorial we're going to look at um, just some of the issues when going from your blocking stage through to the smoothing stage. Um, this is going to implement some blocking techniques as well, but just to be able to think about um, giving your characters more dynamic movement, more weight in there, uh, and ultimately a better animation. So what I'm starting out here with is um, hit smoothing 01. We've got two poses in this. We've got start pose and just an end pose. So this is what many of you have been doing in the blocking. Just a simple kind of um, A B pose. Okay. Now the problem comes when we come to smooth this. If I just uh, click on my character rig, I'm just going to right click and go to curve editor. Uh, these are all our keyframes. We just drag select around these and I'm going to set these into a auto tangent. I'm just going to check uh, I've got some animation on the feet here uh, if I have. Um, looks like there was on this one. Okay. Okay. Uh, just checking for custom attribute animation on this. If you don't Let's go back into the curve stuff for this. If you don't have this modified object for these open, so we're just going to the uh, attribute editor. You can see that's what that is, and the custom attributes. And we can see all the keyframes that we may have for these custom attributes. And in that case, we can just select these as well. Just select these. And do an auto smoothing on those as well. Okay. Okay, so this is what this looks like in smooth animation. Okay. Uh, let's just do a quick preview of this. So, create preview animation. Um, I've just got this at active time segment, 24 frames a second. I'm showing my frame numbers. Um, just got this 70%. And in the realistic render. Uh, I just pause this while I do this preview just by clicking on create. Okay, so here's my preview. Okay, you see there, no dynamic movement at all. There's no weight in this character. The character just let's go through this really linear motion. And we've also got some problems with intersection. The arm here intersecting with the body. And the arm here again is intersecting with the body. Okay, so there's a few issues to fix, um, and these should really be thought about, especially this this next stage we're going to talk about um, in the blocking stage. So in your stepped stage. Okay, uh, this is just an example of not allowing the 3D software to do the interpolation for you. Okay, it's a computer, it, it cannot cope, it can't animate the way that you can animate. So let's go and start fixing this. Let's go into this. I'm just gonna grab my character set again, uh, character rig, uh, just right click, go into my curve editor. Let's just grab all of these and I'm gonna set these back to a step. So the first thing I want to this is uh, another pose. Onto pose. And I want this uh, to kind of have a bit more of a hang before it comes down to this step. Um, I also want to, because we're going down and just going down there. So, what I also want to do with this is uh, in the breakdown, of, or really it's the extreme of this, I want to pull this character up into the air and start giving it some lift in this and also start contrasting the poses so let's just start off just put this in auto key and I'm going to round frame 9 on mine so what I'm going to do is lift this character up
sticking my axes are here. Start pulling them a bit forward as well. Uh, I kind of want this leg to be outstretched on this pose. Okay. It's really jumping up. Bring this character a bit more forward. this here. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to make sure that I'm in step frame on this. Um, I may have to just check the curve editor on there. Okay, let's go up into the air and down. I'm also going to go through and um, in fact I'm going to create a keyframe for everything on this. Let's just do set key. And let's think about where this wants to be going. Um, so, by this point, I do want the hips to have rotated forward a bit. I don't want all this movement in here. So, I'm just going to go through, grab the hips, and start bringing these as if that whole thing is moving forward. Okay. Still want to move this a little bit further forward, I think. I'm going to look at this from the top. Let's grab this and let's just pull in. Maybe not that far. Maybe back there. So it's going up. Like that. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to start going through the spine. Uh, I'm just going to grab some of these, in fact, all of them. Just going to rotate for this. I'm just going to change these to a gimbal. So, again, I'm just going to still have these two shoulders pulling back on this pose, onto it as if the arms kind of dragging out behind this really dragging the arm round, really give weight to this hit, okay? So I'm going to grab this arm, and what I want the arm to start doing, it's kind of coming back, as this is pulling round, the arm's dragging round the body, uh, let's just grab this and let's just I want this hand to be still dragging behind. Uh, what I might else also do on these is just grab some of these fingers and keep these so these are dragging behind. hand control again and this even more. Okay, so just look in between the poses. What we may also have here, um, let's just grab this hand control and I just want to And I just still have this pulling behind. Okay. Managed to bring this up a bit. Um, let's just. This is just tweaking. Okay. 
Okay, so just that. Now these shapes. The head's going to be dragging a little bit more on this, so let's just accentuate that maybe a bit more. What I'm also going to do on this to add even more sense of weight um, and to give the character a bit more stretch so this foot is going round when it's planting okay so I'm going to grab the foot and I'm going to start actually rotating that round it pretty much rotated round the direction it's going to land and I am going to lift this up as well. So it's really going up in the air, giving it um, a lot of effort in this. Let's just check this again. Okay. Uh, I may just pull the shoulder back a little bit as well. Just to give that a bit more of a natural feel. Check where the shoulder is. Uh, don't forget about the shoulders ever. It's okay. And I'm just going to go into the foot platform of this. I'm going to give this a bit of a Twist, um, do a ball tilt, bring that up a bit. Just go bring this up there. Maybe a little bit of a foot roll, just to take some of the straightness out of the knee, just so we don't get any pop on that. So um, let's just get a preview of this. Again, I'll just pause. In fact, now it's quick enough. Um, let's go through this. So giving this extra pose just gives a bit more weight in this. Okay. We've got the character going in the air first, we've got them coming down, uh, we've got a much better contrasting poses. Uh, we're not just going in one direction, always down. I've always tried to contrast this. And what we're doing is dragging the shoulder behind a bit as well, so we've got a much sharper hit when it comes down here. Okay. Again, um, you know, if we're still to look at that in smooth, we would still have some problems with it. So I'm going to carry on just looking at this um, animation in the next step. Okay, so that was just adding the sort of in between the extreme pose on this, just to start giving this a bit more weight. And this is always essential to think of between any A B pose. Just adds a lot more to the animation, adds character, personality, and adds weight. Okay, so don't just always rely on two poses to do the job. Um, so I'll stop this video tutorial here and carry on in the next session.